Dominican University in San Rafael, where tonight we bring you the NorCal Regional Final. This is Division Four, and it is going to be a good one. The Menlo School from the peninsula, and they are a very good team at 18 and 10, coached by John Pay and San Domenico. They are the higher seed coming in at 26 and 7 from the Bay Counties League. They've won some big games to get here. Both teams are now just one win away from making it to the state championship game. Hello, everyone. I'm Dave Cox, along with Michael Barabalt tonight. And, Michael, this should be a good one. Both teams are really excited to be here. When you get this close to getting to that state championship and playing at Arco Arena, the emotions are hard to keep in check. And for San Domenico, they're looking to make it back-to-back -back NorCal championships. They won the state championship last year, now on a great run to try and get back there again. And for Menlo, they haven't really been tested up until their last game against Hillsdale. They won by three. Other than that, they have rolled through their section and state playoffs, so this should be a good one between the top seed of Panthers and the seventh seed, Menlo. Take a look at uh, the bracket and show you how first San Domenico got here. They beat Priory 44-29, then a 55-47 win over Pierce. Then they beat Marysville, a surprise team. Marysville had pulled off a couple upsets, and they beat them by 11 to get here to this final. And uh, that's pretty big for them. Nice wins in a row. On the bottom side of this NorCal bracket, Menlo School beat West Valley. 64-51. They were the seventh seed, and then Summit Shasta, another surprise team. They won a 15 versus two matchup with Arcata, and then you mentioned the tougher game they had against Hillsdale to get here. So they are battle tested in Southern California. It's Chalvet versus Campbell Hall playing tonight for the right to play the winner of this one. And Chalvet uh, lost to San Domenico last year in the state final, so if Chalvet and San Domenico can both win tonight, that's a rematch of a state final, and I'm sure Chalvet is dying to get back to that point and get San Domenico back on the schedule. Take a look at the starting lineup. First for John Pays, Minlow School. Ricky Liu, their top scorer, she's averaging 14.2 points a game. Karen Zinn, Riley Jensen, Jordan Kylie Brooks, and Hannah Satyutu will be in their starting lineup. A very good squad. And now San Domenico. It'll be Lily Reeser, Summer Jenkins, Avery Conklin, Maya Sayakowska. She is a very good player being recruited, and Maddie Greenstone. So both teams ready to go here as they announce. Pretty good crowd filing in here tonight. The weather has been horrible, but it's nice and warm in here at Dominican College. We really appreciate them. Uh, making us feel welcome and getting us ready to cover this game here tonight. And it's everyone's goal to be playing in March, and now we are well into March in the NorCal Final. San Domenico, like we said, back again for second year in a row. Mike Fulton, after leading the boys for a while, switched over to the girls, and that's done a real heck of a job getting this girls program to where they are. Take a look at the officials for tonight's game. Wearing the stripes and blowing the whistles, it'll be Chris Serrano from the Silicon Valley Sports Officials Association, Royal Burrell, and Craig Kurz. They are both from the Bay Area Sports Officials. They're announcing the non-starters first. Now for San Domenico, coached by Mike Fulton. He's been at the school for 18 years. He even coached the boys and the girls during COVID. And uh, so he's got a lot of experience. He's done a great job with this program. It's a very small school, K through 12, but they've really become a power. I think they started off Division 6. Now they're all the way up to Division 4. Yeah, you just take a look at their schedule. Some of the teams they were playing early on, a big win over Branson early on, who won this very bracket last year, the Division 4 state championship. They beat them in their first game, but then they rolled Ukiah, beat Maria Carrillo, beat Sonoma, beating Justin Siena, Tara Linda. I mean, they're beating some of these huge schools from this area, and that just shows, goes to show you where this program has gone to, and that's what every small school program aspires to be, to be competing with those top schools in terms of Division II, Division III, Division IV, competing, and in San Domenico's case, beating them. There you see John Pay. He's the head coach for Menlo School, a familiar name, played quarterback at Stanford. And he's done a great job. His daughter played here a few years ago. I've had the pleasure of covering them a few times when they played in the Cardinal Newman Classic up at Cardinal Newman and a few playoff games over the years as well. They have a great facility down there at the Menlo School.
Now the starters for San Domenico. Very exciting time of year. State championship basketball. Something you will talk about for a long, long time. One of those things you tell your grandkids about. We played for a state championship back in the day. I'm playing here at Dominican University, a beautiful facility. It's like my first time ever being on this campus, and I was looking forward to coming down here. And just a great arena here at the Conlin Center. And Looking forward to seeing a great basketball game between two very good basketball teams. And we are now just about ready to go. Time for our national anthem. Thank you. Thank you. Please rise for the playing of our national anthem. We'd like to welcome a special San Diego student, student Ms. Ella Isaacson, who's going to sing the anthem for us tonight. Thank you. All right, nice job on the national anthem. Let's get this one going. I'm very curious to see if either of these teams will come out and press right out of the shoot or if it's going to be a, a game of let's have you come to me first and let's see who blinks, see who makes the first mistake. So, again, NorCal final, it's kind of a, a a balancing act. You want to stick to what you know all season long, but at the same time, are you going to be conservative and try and not take too many risks, especially early on in this game? So it's going to be interesting to see how that happens early on. And here we go. Minlo in the navy blue and gold. San Domenico in the white with blue and green, and Minlow controls the tap. Karen Zinn up top, throws it away, first turnover of the night. And that's immediately San Domenico pressuring in the half court. And here comes the press. Yeah, I think Minlow likes to run, and they want to test San Domenico and see if they can keep up with them. Sikowski gives it over into the corner. That shot hits the rim. That was Sikowski, actually. Rebound goes to Maddie Greenstone. Up top, no good. Still alive, and it is Minlo that comes down with the rebound. Summer Young has it. Minlo definitely getting that shot off quickly. And now the Panthers will take over. Inbound, barely controlled that time, and tapped out. It's going to be Minlow's ball. Both teams a little sloppy here early on. Defense, of course, is the name of the game, especially when you get to this level. Nobody gets this far unless they're a very good defensive team. And just look at some of the point totals that they've 
San Domenico's given up 43, 29, 27, 8, 9 during this playoff run. The Knights have it. They average about 49.8 points per game. Zinn with a nice cross court pass. Three pointer on the way, no good. Sykowski has the rebound, and she's fouled. And it's going to be a physical game between both of these teams. And for Menlo, they have to try and compensate for some of the size, lack of size on their end by playing a little bit harder, a little bit quicker than San Domenico. Here comes the full court pressure. And they get it across. And then they throw it away. Oh, wow. Actually, no. It's Summer say. Jenkins. No, I guess it was tapped out by one of the Menlo Knights. And Menlo's already going to substitute. And that's what's interesting. When you press a team, you don't necessarily get a ton of turnovers in the front court. It's when they break the press, then they try and go too quickly, and that's when they throw the ball away most of the time. Menlo going for a steal. It's tied up. Possession arrow favors San Domenico. Nice hustle that time by Summer Young. And I know it's only a minute and 12 seconds in, but right now Menlo is playing a lot harder than San Domenico right now. Zykowska has it in the corner. Double team. She'll draw that all night long. Swing it around the other way. Panthers looking for an opening. 2-3 zone for Menlo. Shot clock winding down. Zykowska is open for a second there. Got it off. Rebound San Domenico and another foul on Menlo. Nice rebound getting right in great position. Avery Conklin, the 5'7 junior. And she's going to go to the line for a pair. John Pay likes to sub a lot. Two more subs coming in. In only a minute and a half, but he's going to plan to press the whole game. You got to have a steady stream of bodies checking in and out. Conklin, a junior, puts the first point on the board about a minute and a half into this one. And she hits them both. Gets the San Domenico crowd feeling good. Now we'll see if Minlo can answer. Ricky Liu, their leading score, travel. That's great defense there by Sykowska. Just getting to the spot, keeping her feet still. And making Liu run into her. Trouble with the inbound. Sykowska has it. Minlo comes up with a steal. See if they can turn it into points now. Nope, San Domenico takes it back away. And a travel call that goes against the Panthers. And Menlo's doing a great job right now of speeding up San Domenico. It's not their pace right now, and Mike Volk's going to burn a timeout and try and quell this. John Pay with a wholesale substitution. Four new players coming in. And what Mike Fulton is saying over there, hey, you threw the ball on the inbound, on the baseline, right to the corner. Not where you want to throw it. You draw that double team. That's an easy turnover that Menlo forced. And he's telling him to look middle right now. Not happy. Here you see Mike Fulton doing his thing right there. Low scoring first quarter. We're two minutes in, and we've only seen two points, and those were on free throws. And I'm not sure if San Domenico's played here yet. They might have played one game, it doesn't say. But a lot of their games have either been at San Domenico or they played one game at university. So I'm curious if they haven't played here, if they're having trouble with the view. Zykowska gets a great block, rejecting that one. Also remember, collegiate floor, 94-foot court versus the high school, 84. Yeah, good point. That basket's good from the corner. Hitting that one, Avery Conklin. Here's the block that led to that. And now Memo looking for that inbound to Bear. And nice job coming in to help. Down to the post it goes to Ricky Liu, tie up, 
Possession arrow is going to stay with Minlow School. Four zero, San Domenico off to a nice start. Lou will inbound it for Minlow School. And throws it away. Good defensive pressure by San Domenico. Both teams struggling with pressure defense right now. San Domenico broke that one, the press one time very fairly easily, but it, other than that has struggled. San Domenico returning the favor on the defensive end. Here's the basket by Conklin. She just shook herself free and drained it. And set her feet, nice set shot there. High pass. Conklin has it again, feeling it, a little long. Offensive rebound falls into the hands of Lily Reeser. Here's Conklin again, a little shorter. She doesn't take it this time. They go to the center, Maddie Greenstone at 5'11". Sykowska is 6'1". Minico doing a great job moving the ball in that zone. Reeser doesn't get it. Rebound to Summer Young, but they take it away and score. How about that? Just a little lackadaisical after getting that rebound. That basket's good. Finally, on the board, Minlo School. And boy, did they need that. That was Karen Zinn who hit that one. 6-3. Again, they throw it into the corner. Got lucky there. They got it across. Menlo School diving for it, and they come up with another steal. Taken back away by Conklin. They're going to call it a tie-up, however. And it is San Domenico's possession arrow. Conklin very active here early on. Here's Menlo's first basket. Nice smooth stroke. Lefty shooter. That basket's good. Conklin again. Eight three. San Domenico with the lead. Halfway through the first quarter. Ricky Liu looking for her first basket. Gets her own miss. Liu weaves her way through traffic and scores. And Menlo just wants to run, like you said, and get to the rim. That's exactly what Lou did there. Now, look at this. Menlo with a takeaway. They're going to call it a jump ball and Menlo's ball. Boy, we're going to see a lot of tie-ups tonight, it looks like. Yeah, and take a look at Lou right now, just splitting those two defenders right there. Conklin and Sykowska, nice move. That's why she is one of their leading scorers at 14.2 points a game. The officials gave San Domenico a break there. That was going to be a Menlo layup before they called that tie-up. Riley Jensen tries the three. Lily Reeser with the rebound, and yet again another tie-up. This time it's San Domenico's arrow. I'll take the over on tie-ups tonight. Oh, my goodness. It's already been about <laughs> seven. Again, they keep inbounding that ball too dangerously to the baseline corner. Ball stayed in somehow down there. Now it's going to be Minlow's ball. John Kay with three fresh substitutes coming in. Kind of contrasting styles. San Domenico wants to slow it down. Menlo wants to run it up and down. And it's just going to be who's going to be better at their craft. Yeah, and I think his strategy is this is going to be a wild and woolly game. Fresh legs in the fourth quarter could yep. mean a lot. There's Ricky Liu. Guarded closely by Conklin. And San Domenico just pressures on the defensive end. Hannah Satuto. Up top it goes. Nice drive by Zinn. Nice pass. He lays it off. Nice pass to Riley Jensen. And the basket good. Nice teamwork. One point lead now for San Domenico. And this is where San Domenico needs to slow it down. 
Get a good shot. That's Greenstone good turns and scores right from the top of the key. Really didn't have any pressure. She says, okay, I'll take that. Zykowski with a rebound. Menlo's just flying around on defense right now. Auckland had a little trouble with that pass. Summer Jenkins gets it to Sajkowska. Conklin, short corner, that's her spot. Nice start for Conklin. In the 2-3 zone, that short corner is going to be open. If you have someone that can hit that shot, you just feed her all night. Five-point lead for the Panthers of San Domenico. Ricky Lou spins into a double team, taken away by Summer Jenkins. High pass. Menlo takes it back away. Baron Zinn has it now for the Knights of Menlo School. Lou guarded by Conklin. Firing it up from the outside, Jensen. Greenstone with the rebound for San Domenico. Here come the Panthers now. Little over a minute to go in the first quarter. Conklin again, Menlo does a better job of recognizing her in that short corner this time. Wide open, Lily Reeser off the front rim. Zykowska with an offensive board and a put down. That's just using her height right there, going up and getting that basketball. Putting it right back up. Foul call. Going to go against San Domenico. It's their first. Here's Conklin from that short corner again. Now you see the gap right there in that zone. You get it behind the defense, and it's going to be open. Pretty much wide open, yeah. That one a little strong. Last touch, Minlo. Aaron Zinn couldn't get that one to go. Take it the other way. More subs, three in, three out. Yeah, that's the pattern. Yeah, that, whoever's guarding the inbound is just going to double that first pass and another turnover here. Minlo creating turnovers. Can they turn it into points? Trailing by seven here in the first quarter, under 30 seconds to go. Little strong. It's going to be San Domenico's ball. The lift fake there would have done a lot had Sykowska leaving her feet. I think anybody's going to get a shot off here. Hey, what do you know? Another tie-up. <laughs> With 2.5, that gives Minlo a chance here. They can work an inbound play. With more subs first. I don't think Menlo, some of the players know it's their ball. Yeah, I know. think they were all headed down on defense or they were setting up. Menlo will have a chance for the final bucket of the quarter. Nice play, not going to have much time, but they do get it up and in. How about that? Riley Jensen at the buzzer puts it in and that was, as the first quarter comes to an end. And that was that ball side block setting up the up screen then coming around the corner. Big shot for Menlo heading into the break. Nice job by Menlo School to get the basket as we head to a break. Good ball game here. Heading to the state championship is on the line. We'll be right back. High school sports are one of the things that make living in California so great. But sometimes the behavior in the stands can overshadow our achievements on the field. I love it when my parents show up for me. Well, being booed for missing a play could be crushing. And remember that refs are people too. They're trying their best to call a fair and correct game. No one should feel insulted or ashamed. 
because of their race, ethnicity, or gender. We should be able to hold our heads high after the match, win or lose. Six after one here at Dominican College. Nice lead for San Domenico. And now to the second quarter we go. 16-9. San Domenico misses that one. Minlo bringing it up the floor now. Then flips it over to Satuto. No good. San Domenico trying to catch up with it. Going to stay with Minlo here. Second quarter here at Dominican College of the NorCal Division Four Finals. Minlo with the ball, trailing by seven. And a blocking foul that goes against San Domenico. Nice job to penetrate the defense by Jordan Kylie Brooks. And Sykowska is going to pick up her second here. Just a minute into the second quarter. And she's going to come out. Greenstone to check in. Up top it goes, no good. Menlo hustles after it. Zinn inside, kicks it out into the corner. Jordan Kylie Brooks, no good. The rebound goes to Greenstone. Another double team in the corner, San Domenico. That's a nice job of staying calm. Nice ball movement. There's Conklin. She had a great first quarter. That one goes off the side of the bucket. It's going to be Minlow's ball. Nice play drawn down low. No good. Nice rebound by Greenstone. Here comes San Domenico. That one's good. Nice job to gather in that pass by Aguirre. San Domenico's playing at their pace right now, nice and slow. They're dictating the flow of this game right now. And I'm going to get called for a foul here. John Pay not happy about that. And another three in, three out for Menlo. San Domenico gets it in. Jenkins with it. Throws it up, top of the key, and that's going to go out of bounds to Menlo. Almost midway through this second quarter. Nine-point lead for San Domenico. Now going to have an official timeout. John Pay's wondering why his subs weren't called into the game. And 
like we are ready to get back into it. Dominico with a seven point lead. Just under three minutes to go in this first half. And the game has been dictated by San Dominico. The pace has been all there so far. Menlo trying to scratch and claw to stay in this game. Panther basketball, and a steal. And they're gonna call a foul on Avery Conklin. Menlo gets a much needed turnover and more subs coming in for Menlo. Pointer goes up, in and out. Offensive rebound by Lou, puts it back up and in. And it's a five point game. Here comes Menlo's full court press. San Dominico having trouble getting it in. They do. And it's tipped away, stolen by Kylie Brooks. A little lift fake, pass inside. Lou, triple team, has it taken away. Aguirre steals it. And we're going to have a tie up, but it's going to be Menlo basketball. Two minutes and 17 seconds remain here in this first half. Very low scoring, Michael. And it's been a defensive battle, kind of like what we talked about in the pregame. And Menlo just kind of grinding it away here, staying in this ballgame. Zinn fires up a three and hits it. Big basket for Karen Zinn. 7-0 run here for Menlo. Minlow down by two. Nice ball movement. Greenstone doesn't finish. And no Sykowska in this game for San Domenico. On the bench with two fouls. And a late call there by the official, but I think it's the correct call. Got Jensen on the way up, and she has a chance to tie this game up with two fouls. Or two foul shots, excuse me. Doesn't get the roll there. Got it. All the momentum right now with Menlo. Jensen makes it a one point game. Diving for the ball and it trickles out. Last touch. Conklin, I believe. Menlo's going to hang on to it. And Mike Fulton's in a precarious position at San Domenico. He's already called two timeouts. You hate to burn a third one in the last minute and a half of this first, uh, this first half. In order to get a reset on that five second clock. Jensen fouled by Greenstone. She'll go back to the line. That one's no good. Gotta be able to make free throws in a close game. Might be the deciding outcome. Second one good as well. 18-18. Nice run from Menlo. And now on a 9-0 run, down 18-9 to, to time this ball game up. 
Full court pressure continues. Menlo comes up with a steal. And now it's going to be San Domenico's ball with 126 to go in this second quarter. Mike Fulton over there is just pulling whatever hair he has out. San Domenico having so much pressure being thrown at them. They're having trouble breaking the press. Here's an opportunity right here. Into that short corner. They've scored a bunch from there. This time it's Aguirre that gets it. Her second basket. That's a big shot for San Domenico to quell this run. And now they have a chance to take a lead here in this final minute. Take this into the half. Saw that coming. Under a minute to go. Aguirre can't handle that pass. And again, that's the gap in that 2-3 zone. It's right there. You just got to find it if you're the offense. And San Domenico's found it time and time again. Ball's loose. Conklin has it. Taken back away. And a foul on Conklin. That's going to be free throws for Medlow in the bonus. Wow, kind of going back and forth each way. Marin Malloy will go to the line. Freshman banks it in. And she'll get a bonus now. How about that? Being, being a freshman in a NorCal championship game. Second one no good. Reeser has the rebound. One point game, under 30 seconds to go in the half. Greenstone has it. Smartly. But smart, got to hold for the final shot. All the way to the other side it goes. Greenstone down low in traffic. Menlo has it. Three seconds to go. See if they can get off a shot. They will not. We are at the half. Good ball game. We'll take a break right here and be back with more. High school sports are one of the things that make living in California so great. Athletics builds character, teamwork, physical fitness, and shows what hard work can achieve. And some of us can even earn a college scholarship or qualify for the Olympics. But sometimes the behavior in the stands can overshadow our achievements on the field. Hey, California, this is Ron Nichetti, CIF Executive Director. And how we behave at games is a reflection of who we are. Let's turn the table on bad behavior and show friends, students, and our kids, and the other team, a side of ourselves that makes them truly proud. Hearing people cheer at our games really motivates me. But being booed for missing a play could be crushing. We're all on this team because we love you. Winning is amazing, but it's not the only thing. I love it when my parents show up for me. But hearing them yell at the coach is embarrassing. Oh, come on! And remember that refs are people too. They're trying their best to call a fair and correct game. Even if you... Switched over to my phone as a hotspot, so we'll see. It's 
says I'm streaming live now. 30 seconds. Here we go with the second half of play. San Domenico has the ball and a one-point lead. San Domenico, the Panthers in white, trying to get to the state championship game. Conklin had a big first half. Her first shot of the second half is off the mark. San Domenico with an offensive rebound. Another opportunity right here. Maddie Greenstone up with the left hand, no good. Rebound, Ricky Lee, tie up. 
He had a bunch of those in the first half, and now another one. This time it'll be Menlo's ball. Curious to see what Menlo does here offensively if they try to attack Sikowska, who has two fouls. See if they can try and get her to pick up her third early in this third quarter. Lou has it, now fires out to Karen Zinn. She fires one up, no good. San Domenico did a nice job on Lou defensively in the first half. She did have a couple of baskets. See how San Domenico handles that pressure. You can bet they talked a lot about that at halftime. Oh, yeah. He's, Coach Foden was pulling his hair out, and that, especially in that second quarter where San Domenico threw the ball away four or five times in a row. Greenstone inside with the left hand. No good. Kept alive for Minlo. Ricky Liu has it. Sykowska fell. Minlo penetrates and scores. Marin Malloy got the basket that time. Menlo, their first lead of the night. Yes. San Domenico trying to answer. Does not. They take it the other way. Yeah, making that extra pass to the freshman, Malloy, sticking that basket. Comes Menlo back. Looks like San Domenico may be dropping into his zone. 2 3 zone themselves. 2 3 zone versus 2 3 zone. Zinn for three. Four point lead. Menlo with the ball. One point lead for San Domenico. Pass it across. Drive baseline. Jensen kicks out. Zinn. A little floater with the left hand, no good. Sykowski the rebound. Here comes San Domenico. And it's going to be an offensive foul, I believe. Yes, it will. Official got in the way there. So Menlo takes the charge. And here comes Menlo on offense. Lou driving baseline, floats it up, no good. Sykowska the rebound. Corner three, it's good. Jordan Kylie Brooks with the three. Menlo back into the press. They got that trap, but splitting it nicely is Conklin. Get it ahead to Greenstone. Her layup is good. Back and forth we go. Jensen gets it inside. Kylie Brooks, that's a loop for three. That's no good. Sakowska, get Minko reset, get it inside. Sakowska posting up, gets the roll. Four point lead. And we'll have a blocking foul against. Sikowska, that'll be her third. Out of bounds, it'll stay with Menlo. Gets 
it in. San Domenico by four. 140 to go here. San Domenico with the ball now, trying to add to their lead. Conklin off the front rim, offensive rebound. Sykowska puts it back up and in. Couple of baskets in a row for her. The lead is six. Minlo is starting to wear them down, but now the momentum shifting back into San Domenico's court. But Minlo hits a three. That's Riley Jensen. And a timeout taken. That's going to be taken by Menlo. Big shot there. And kind of going back and forth now between these two teams. Menlo not going away. See Kong, or, uh, Sikowska here in the post. Nice move going with the left hand. She scored twice in a row down the floor. And she's going to get the offensive rebound right here. Just boxed Lou out. Fell right in her hands. Just one step dribble. And a put back layup. San Domenico with a three point lead. And then Minlo, after giving up those two baskets, comes down and hits this one. And there's Jensen in the corner again. San Domenico now in his zone, so they're vulnerable to some of those gaps, and Menlo takes advantage. Minute seven to go here in the third quarter. Menlo bench looking pretty excited. They cut it back to three. See if they can come up with a stop now. They've got the full court pressure ready to go. Timeout has enabled them to set it all up. Domenico's got someone wide open deep. And sure enough, they throw it away. Was it tipped? Yes, it was. Oh, wow. Knights don't agree with that. Sophie Hauser is said to have tipped it. Conklin, back up top, Greenstone. Try to swing it inside, no. Nope. And that one's good, basket by Summer Young. Be careful now, not fouling here in the final 35 seconds. One point game. Against the double. And a timeout taken by San Domenico. There's that Jensen three. Breaking Menlo back. I made it a three point game. And then I, that nice finish. Nice job in the open floor by Summer Young. Yeah, Summer Young finishing through contact. And what's going to be interesting for me, San Domenico, only nine players on the roster were versus Menlo, whereas they're subbing in 10, 11, 12 deep. Curious to see when this fourth quarter hits if maybe San Domenico starts to wear down because they're not playing a whole lot of girls. They're play, only playing about seven. Yep. Nine on the roster, and they only suited eight. Inbound taken away, but she stepped back court. No, pushing foul call. It goes against San Domenico's Lily Reeser. Here comes three subs in from Minlo. Three on, three off. Looks like just offense for defense right now. Probably going to hold for the last shot. That's what Payne's calling for. Step 
back. That one's good. As the quarter comes to an end. Wow. Wow. What a game. 34-33. Menlo now takes the lead into the final eight minutes of this one. Who will go to the state championship? That is the question. High school sports are one of the things that make living in California so great. But sometimes the behavior in the stands can overshadow our achievements on the field. I love it when my parents show up for me. But being booed for missing a play could be crushing. And remember that refs are people too. They're trying their best to call a fair and correct game. No one should feel insulted or ashamed because of their race, ethnicity, or gender. We should be able to hold our heads high after the match, win or lose. Here we go, the final eight minutes to decide who goes to the Division IV state championship. Menlo now with a one-point lead. They have trailed almost the entire night. San Domenico trying to get the lead back. No good. Nice rebound. Here comes Menlo. Ricky Liu has it. Taken away momentarily. It's going to stay with Menlo now. Knight swinging it around. That one just off the mark. Lou has an offensive board. Lou comes down with it, but Conklin ties her up. Possession arrow, Minlows. Oh. Inbound, right to Conklin. Conklin finds herself open. Rebound goes to Jensen. Riley Jensen. Now the Knights trying to add to just a one-point lead. It's going to stay with them. A little diagonal cut there in the half court. Into the corner it goes. They take it away. San Domenico has it. Nice job by Summer Jenkins to tap that to Greenstone. 6.50 to go. Inside it goes to Sykowska. She lays it in. Big basket. San Domenico back on top by one. Back in the man after playing in zone. Sykowski goes out again. That's going to be an illegal screen. Yep. That's the right call. He just extended that elbow out. That's a good call by the official. That last ball movement, very nicely done. Yeah, just diving down behind that zone. Nice find by Greenstone. Nice when you can have 5'11 and 6'1 standing in that paint. Yeah, for sure. There it is again. Kowska trying to post up. Greenstone from the free throw line. Kept alive. Quick Another tie up. Menlo's going to hang on to this one. Defense. 
Sean Pay has been very busy with his substitutions. Zykowska has it. Off the front iron, no good. Oh, corner. That one's no good. Offensive rebound. Jensen. Zykowska fighting for it. Ball's on the ground, tie up. San Domenico's ball. Menlo's ball, excuse me. One point lead for San Domenico. Menlo trying to change that. Taken away by the Panthers. Nice job by Lou. Stop on the transition. Another tie-up. Will be San Domenico's ball. Sikowska might have been a little shaken up on that one. Physicality starting to pick up here late in this game. You can tell both these teams are going to fight tooth and nail to get that spot in the state final. That triple substitution one more time for John Pay. Taken away. Nice job jumping up for that one by Malloy. Very nice play there. Zinn has it now, and John Pay is going to take a timeout. Each squad with two remaining in the final five minutes. Check out the hustle and the, like you said, the physicality right here. Every ball being contested. Yeah. San Domenico looking for a foul there. Benlo getting the tie up. And only three and three. Refs calling it down the middle. Officials, for the most part, have been letting them play. It's been a physical game, but it's been under control. I don't know if I've ever seen a high school game with more tie-ups. <laughs> it just takes the cake. Yeah, this has uh, definitely been something. Five minutes and 11 seconds to decide who moves on to the state championship. Shalvet and Campbell Hall from the south meet the winner of this one at Arco Arena next week. It's actually coming up on Saturday, I believe. Shalvet's holding a nine-point lead at the end of three in that game. Now low it goes to Ricky Liu. Zinn uh, tries to throw it down the baseline. Jensen was making a cut to the middle. Three more subs coming in. He's using the athleticism of Summer Young and Morin Malloy on that defensive end. Almost caused another turnover there. They do cause the turnover. Stepping on that line. Menlo's going to take back over. Nice ball movement. Menlo. Trying to retake the lead. Zinn sticks the three. Big basket right there. She's had a great game. Karen Zinn. Two point lead for Menlo now. 
Three ball the other way, no good. Greenstone with an offensive board. That might be where San Domenico ends up getting their points is on offensive rebounds with the height that they have. Zinn again, no good. Tapped out. Nice rebound by Conklin in traffic. Panthers will bring it up. Tied up, 37-37. What a game. Pass into the high post and a foul call. Goes against Menlo. Looking at it, the foul count, only four and three. Satuto got there just a little early. Hit. San Domenico back on top by two. 343 nice to go. Blocked by Kowska. Sikowska. And help. That's Zinn with the three. Another block. Couple of blocks in a row. Greenstone wide open. Doesn't get it. Here we go. Here comes Menlo running up and down. Zinn stops and pops off the mark. She felt the pressure by Jenkins coming behind her there. Zykowska and Jenkins playing catch up top. Now it's Conklin. Guarded by Zinn. Zykowska in traffic. And she traveled. Nice job on the inbound play. Yeah, nice screen there by Greenstone. Kind of sealing off that Menlo defender. Nice job by Lou in traffic. Got it. Full court pressure, 39-39. Greenstone is open. Nice bounce pass from Reefer. Back up by two, San Domenico. Back and forth we go. A handoff. In, doesn't get it. It trickles out. San Domenico's ball. Three subs coming in. And a timeout taken. What a game. Back and forth. Definitely back and forth. San Domenico's had some moments where They've had the momentum. Menlo's come right back with a run of their own. As you see right there, breaking that press easily and a nice pass to Greenstone inside, finishing that wide open layup. Textbook fast break by the Panthers. One of the few times they've been able to break that, especially after that first quarter where they broke it a couple times rather easily then. Menlo was just forcing turnover after turnover. I, my guess is that the turnover count on both sides has to be near 20. Another angle of that bounce pass. Greenstone was wide open. Perfect feed. Bounced right to her hand. Easy step and score. Menlo setting up full court pressure. He's got the athletic group in there of Malloy and Summer Young for Menlo. Trying to force a turnover. Double by Sikowska. Menlo's ball. Defensive pressure has been impressive for Menlo tonight. Oh 
Working the inbound, taken away. Stepping in front of it, Summer Jenkins. San Domenico looking to add to a two-point lead. Good ball moving again by San Domenico. Moving it inside and out. Conklin tries to go behind the back, tapped out by Menlo. Kowska gets the double team. Greenstone off the back iron. Crunch time now. Lou, everywhere she goes, she has met with at least one or two. Panthers right in her face. There's Zinn with a three, no good. Nice rebound, falls into the hands of Lily Reeser. One of the San Domenico players is without their shoe. John Pay out on the court. Working the officials a little bit. 107 to go, San Domenico with the lead and the leather here. Trying to get back to that state championship. Menlo subs three fresh on. That's a double. High up. Lou. I thought they, were, I thought they may have had Sykowska for a travel there, but no, nope. it is Menlo's ball either way. Big possession right here for the Knights. Karen Zinn has it, taking her time. Under a minute now. Yep. Lou, a little bump from behind by Conklin. San Domenico has fouls to give, so. Yes, they do. That's only their fourth, I believe. Wow. So that two more fouls to give. Wide open. Kylie Brooks doesn't get it. Wow. Greenstone with great position has the rebound. And then has got a foul. Playing keep away now, and they do foul Conklin. Avery Conklin will go to the line. No, they still have one to give. I thought they were in the bonus. Uh, one more. That is the sixth. I'm not going to go for the steal. And I'm not off the foul again. Conklin takes a timeout. Smart move. Not only San Domenico, I believe, with just one. 35.7 to go. Yeah, they're down to one. Really like to save that one. Just in case. Mike Fulton over there drawing up. A sideline out of bounds play to try and beat this Menlo pressure. It's been relentless all night. At the way this game's gone, it wouldn't surprise you if Menlo gets a steal here and doesn't even have to foul. High up, a possession arrow favors San Domenico right now. So just a huge advantage in a game like this. Where there's been no, as the, many, big, the big many board timeouts. has San Domenico with zero timeouts now. Oh wow, okay. Must have been one previously before going off. So they're out of timeouts. Crowd getting loud here at Dominican College. Conklin will inbound it for San Domenico.
They get it in. Summer Jenkins has it, and she's fouled. Even if she knocks Milton down, still got plenty of time if you're Menlo. 33.8 is an eternity. And they're just late in the game. Jenkins getting some words of encouragement from her teammates. Some huge free throws right here. 33.8 to go. First one, this one's the big one right here. And even if she makes it, Menlo, if you're Menlo, you can go for a quick two. And foul again. Doesn't get it, Menlo has it. Wouldn't surprise me if John Pay calls a timeout, looks like get it across. Oh. Foul in the backcourt. Makes I have one more foul to give, up three. Zins open, didn't take it, drives, and it's a blocking foul. She was open for a moment, but Sykowska was coming out on her, and I think she felt like she didn't want to take that chance to have that block. Now no more fouls for San Domenico. 21.9. Shot clock is off. Lou doesn't get it. Rebound, Lou. Surprise, Sean Pace off all the time. Sin didn't get it. Still alive. It's going to be San Domenico's ball. Oh, my goodness. I'm very surprised John Pace did not call a timeout. He has two timeouts. After you get that offensive rebound, why not call one and set something up? They got a couple pretty good looks there for Lou and Zinn. Neither were able to get it. San Domenico has to get it inbound. Sykowska has it, and she'll go to the free throw line now. Sykowska's just got to hit one. Kowska, the senior, trying to extend her career one more game. Wow. Doesn't get it. Tapped out. It's Minlow's ball. Crowd into this one for sure. And now John Pay will take a timeout. Wow. 5.2 to get off the three to try to send this into overtime. Mike Fulton will set up his defense. And I'm wondering if you're San Domenico, do you press here and take that chance of maybe fouling? Because you get into a one on one scenario, you're up three. It's always that question do you foul up three or do you let it play out? It's a tough call. Some coaches will try and tell their teams to foul, and they either don't do it or it doesn't get called with the way this game's been played physically. A lot has been allowed physically. Looks like San Domenico is going to get back and just play half court. They'll have one ups. They'll have a Gary ups to make sure that they don't roll it. They are picking up. Lou has it, shakes free, gets off a three. Little bit strong, that's gonna do it. San Domenico wins it. San Domenico. 
We'll go back to the state championship. A hard fought battle that comes down to the wire. Lou got a pretty good look there. As Menlo had three great looks. And that final 30 seconds just wasn't able to get the one to fall. But give them a lot of credit. San Domenico was up 18 to nine. It looked like it was in control. And they'll mount a comeback, tied the game. Eventually took a lead here in this fourth quarter, but San Domenico just outlasted them. So San Domenico wins it 42 to 39. What a finish. Hope you enjoyed our coverage. That's going to do it for us tonight. Good luck to San Domenico as they head off to the state championship. Menlo Knights, nothing to be ashamed of. They played a great game and fought to the very end. And that's something to be said about a seven seed in this bracket, making it all the way to the NorCal final. So props to Menlo and best of luck to San Domenico as they go for a repeat. All right, your final score once again is 42 to 39. For Michael Baribault, I'm Dave Cox saying goodbye from Dominican College. Good luck to San Domenico as they head off to the championship game at Arco Arena.